a box pool here with yet another Nissan Leaf project. Uh, this time I'm going to use some of these old um, Lifey Poe pouch cells that I harvested from some uh, e-bikes. I've got a video on the harvesting process. Previously I built a one kilowatt hour Powerwall pack using a bunch of these and I've still got more. Um, so what I'm going to do is build a 12 volt battery for my Nissan Leaf, my car, my electric car, which um, as most electric cars do, has both a main traction battery, which is about 400 volts, but it also has a standard 12 volt battery, which runs all the standard 12 volt things in the car, like the, the computer and the lights and the radio and so on. Um, but my car is a 2011 Leaf, so it's pretty old. Um, and so the lead acid battery is losing capacity. Um, and when we're in, here in lockdown in New Zealand, um, earlier in the year, we weren't allowed to drive our cars around much. Um, so the lots of people had problems with their 12 volt batteries. Mine survived because I um, drove it around the block a few times, but uh, it could use a, a new battery. And rather than buy a brand new lead acid battery, I thought I might as well build something with these old cells, which um, I'm getting, I think I'm going to get an average of at least 4,500 4, milliamp hours per cell and I'm going to have uh, 10 in parallel and then 4 groups of that so then I'll, I'll end up with a 45 amp hour 12 volt battery uh, which will be I think slightly better than the original battery when it was brand new uh, and this one will also be half the weight I'll be saving 7 or 8 kilograms off the car which is good um, and using some old cells that weren't doing anything um, and saving a bit of money as well. Um, the only thing I've really spent any money on is a BMS. So I'm going to have all the cells nicely sandwiched in here. I'll put some packing in the sides as well when I get to that part. And then I'll have this nice spacer with some um, bus bars in here, possibly our friend the twisted mains cable, or um, or some of this eight gauge wire um, with the lead on the end. Um, not quite. I'm probably going to go with the eight gauge. Um, the thing that I haven't quite got figured out yet is how I'm going to attach this to here so that it doesn't uh, move around too much because the fuses will be fairly delicate. I'll be looking to put in 5 amp fuses. Uh, bus bars, bus bar here, 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 here and here. This will be negative uh, and then the positive. And then over the top of that we'll go this piece of fiberglass and I'll have the negative coming through and the positive coming through here. The negative will connect to the BMS. Um, I'll hook up all the balance wires as usual. And that will come straight out the top. And that will look a bit like this. Um, so the negative will come out here, positive out here. And then that will bolt onto um, where the onto the car basically. Um, this is about the same size as the original lead acid battery, so all the brackets uh, for mounting that battery will work on this. Uh, and then this here is just a capacity slash voltage meter. Um, that should be nice, just so that. Um, if I get nervous, I can double check what's going on. 
Um, and there we have it. It's going to be, I think it's going to be quite nice. Uh, my 3D printed box, which took 40 hours to print, has turned out really nicely. It's good and solid. Um, this, this is an, uh, an 80 amp output BMS and I'm expecting it to be um, run at about 50% of that um, maximum. Uh, so that's good. Um, it's all coming together quite nicely. I found just the perfect piece of packing in my pile of junk. Um, it's all... It's, it's looking pretty good. Uh, I just need to work out a decent way of mechanically attaching the um, bus wires so they don't flop around um, in the car. Because one of the challenges of a car is it's going to vibrate a lot and um, so this needs to be more mechanically solid than a typical power wall. Um, so that's uh, I'm not quite sure what to do there. Any suggestions, helpful thoughts would be good. So that's part A of this project. Part B will be putting it all together and that will be in another um, two or three weeks once I've finished testing all the rest of the cells. Um, so in the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, look after yourself and uh, catch you later. Cheers. And here it is finished after 40 hours 34 minutes. Whew, that's a big print.